This is a world of the incredible diversity of life forms. It is not one planet of one species. This world is home to caterpillars, to butterflies, to whales, dolphins, fikitas, to rhinos and elephants, to hummingbirds, and to all other beautiful earthlings. This world belongs to pigs, to chickens, to guinea pigs, to dogs and cats. This is a world of the extremely diversity in life forms. This world is made for all living beings, not only for us. We need to learn to be sane. We need to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of ecology. We also have to stop causing unnecessary suffering to other earthlings. Because their life also matter if you want to claim that your life matter. You don't deserve rights when you are not willing to give this to innocent living beings. The animals. The animals on this planet exist for our own reasons. They are not made for us. They are made for themselves. In the same way that women are not made for men. And that men have not the absolute right of a um, relation, just like women have not absolute right of relation with somebody they don't like. Their life, their body, their right, their property. Peace begins on the dignity by what you eat on a daily basis. Now think good people. How can we stop all forms of hatred? When it comes to hatred from sexism to racism, to misogyny and homophobia and speciesism. We're coming to always to different sizes and forms. This would be different sizes, different forms, different altitudes. So that somebody acts and look different than you. So if people learn their children from a young age that all living beings are equal, different but equal, that there are not lesser, that a pig is just as important as there are, that the chick is just as important as there are, that one elephant is just as important as there are. How can that child grow up and look to another member of their own species and think they are superior? They have the right to exploit them. They are entitled of their attention. They are entitled to be praised. Humbleness, that's the key. If you eliminate speciesism and learn that all animals deserve the same kind of rights, the same kind of compassion, the same kind of decent treatment, how can that child grow up to be a KKK? So, uh, son of a bitch, or uh, that's actually an insult to female dogs, so because a uh, bitch is a female dog. Maybe I have to call them a, a son of an incubus, because that's a raping demon <laughs> from Hebrew mythology. So, people confuse their children constant. There are learn that uh, chickens are only when there are pets, they serve to be treated fairly. They think they learn uh, that pigs are dirty and stupid and bad. When pigs are cute, when pigs are beautiful, just the way nature has intended. There are have their personalities. 
Some are less friendly than others, but the majority are nice. They are cute, they are just like dogs. The one to be um, cuddled, the one to get belly rubs. They want to be uh, with good company. Oh, just like a dog, he sniffed my hand and make sure I was okay. He said, yeah, you can pet my ears. And by the way, look at the horrible things we do to pig ears. We notch them, it's called ear notching, to mark them. These are all rescued pigs, by the way, from the meat industry. Look at the horrible things we do to their ears. Look at that. How dare we mutilate living beings. One of the lucky ones. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up? And they got the wet noses? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And, Erica, let's see if we can get a... Let's give it a whirl. A pig to go down for a belly rub. That's the best. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, they love a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What a pig. There are a smart as child from three to six. This is Hamlet. He's amazed animal psychologists by learning a computer game designed for chimpanzees. Hamlet has to move the cursor into the blue area around the screen. When he does, he gets a sweet. The scientists make it progressively harder for Hamlet, yet he succeeds every time. Can other animals do this? Here's Lex, a Jack Russell dog. Lex is willing, but even after a year, he hasn't quite got it and needs help. Also, there are smarter than dogs. All discrimination has its root. And that is that it is based on arbitrary criteria. Discrimination is an attitude or bias in favor of your own group. And it discriminates against members of somebody else's group. Or somebody else's group, yes. The racists do this by the people of another color of skin. People of another race mutation in DNI that make a species not so much different than the original, original species. In that regard, a dog is not so much different than of a wolf. So if you discriminate between wolves, so if you say it is okay to shoot wolves for no reason, no rational, no sane reason, and you want to protect dogs, and you are also a kind of a racist, an uh, interspecies racist, you can maybe can say. Peace begins by your choices on a daily basis. Veganism is justice. Veganism and true vegans don't see themselves as more important than other living beings. Fake vegans. Like the ones who are our YouTube vegans, who are plant-based in reality, because there are no moral philosophy. Because if there half of a moral philosophy, there will nothing, and I repeat, nothing go back of to eating animals. Animals are not food. Animals are friends, and true vegans never eat their friends. True vegans don't cause intentional suffering to other living beings specific when it is absolutely not necessary. True vegans are against discrimination based on arbitrary criteria. But if you choose to discriminate against members of a weaker group like animals, and if you are black, then yes, it is not racism. If I call you a disgusting barbarian, or I call you a savage. 
because I will do the same thing to one person who is white. Actually, if I spare you but roast the white person, I am racist. Then I am a bigot. You are not more important just because you are white, just because you are black, just because you are a um, woman, or you are transgender, whatever. I have the right to criticize you if you are discriminated against animals. Animals are vegans like me, they are clients. We speak for them. They have nothing to do with you or the, or the color of your skin, your sexual orientation. Because we speak for the animals. We are the true justice ones. When you are stopping with um, abusing the animals for your so-called food choices, for their body parts and secretions, then we vegans will not say anything bad about you. It is all on you. And if you are choosing to be kind to animals, how have nothing harmed you intentionally ever in your whole life? Can you understand what I mean with that? And with my long speech of today? I hope, I begin not. When darkness and light become one, the reality split in a way, and the truth become invisible. Go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism.